Hello crafty friends, this is the Paper Chef here. And in today's tutorial, I would like to show you how to cut out these cute strawberries using the Brother Scan and Cut. These strawberries are from the Tutti Fruity Cards Pack. And the Tutti Fruity is only available until the end of May. So I think this video is very timely because I didn't even know how cute it was until last weekend. So let's check this out. This is this is like the one, these are the ones I've already cut out. Let me get my little spatula. And it just did such a great job. This is so this is my brother's scan and cut mat. The papers in this pack are only six by six. So I just left these on there to show you. And I actually have a sticky mat for a change because I bought a new mat. Okay, so that's why it's sticky. And there. But I'm going to show you how cute this is. And with the little border around it and it looks so cute with the little blueberries. I mean, it's just really awesome, and it did a great job on this sheet. It only missed one strawberry, and there's like the top of one that I didn't I didn't notice. So what I've done is I took another piece of six by six. I added it to the bottom corner of my mat, and just turn my mat around. And we're just gonna load that up. See, this one's a full sheet, six by six, and we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna cut that out. Okay. So the first thing we want to do is load the mat. Okay. And when you turn on your scan and cut, you have pattern and scan. We're going to be using the scan feature. Let me find my stylus. And because we are directly cutting out these strawberries and not saving them, we're going to use the direct cut option. Because these strawberries have a great deal of contrast between the, the front and the outside, then we can just use black and white recognition mode. Same with the blueberries. Get some light on this. There's some detail. See? Blueberries and strawberries. Great deal of contrast. Use black and white recognition mode even if you have a color sheet of paper. The reason is it takes so much extra time to scan in color and you only need to use it if you don't have a lot of contrast. And then while it's cutting out, I'm going to show you some of my other results in this pack. Okay, we're going to, it's recognizing right now. My strawberries and blueberries. Okay, these are the ones I cut earlier. We're not gonna cut those, we only want to cut these. I'm gonna say okay, and then I'm gonna show you that I only wanna select this corner because that's all we're cutting. We don't need to cut those again, I've already cut them. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do a couple things here while I'm in this area. I'm gonna say that I want to add an outline distance and I usually just use the first one which is 0 0.04, that's good. So now I have an outline distance and the second thing I'm going to do is ignore object size. Oh no, I'm not. I'm sorry. We don't want to ignore object size. We want the blueberries. I was like, what are all those little... Those are the blueberries. Do not ignore object size. Sometimes you have little stray bits on your paper and you would ignore them. But in this case, we want the blueberries cut out. <laughs> don't worry about this error message. It's just saying that your your... Your area is a little farther outside your mat, but that's okay. It means that there was, the mat was hanging over a tiny bit. Okay, I do want to delete, there is a stray bit there. I will delete that stray bit right there. And let me zoom in and see if there's any other stray bits. Blueberries are good. Um, there's a half a blueberry I could delete, but I'm not gonna because I can use that half blueberry. I'm making some cute little projects with preserves. I'm going to delete the top of that strawberry. And I'll have another video to show you all my 2D Fruity projects. But I think I'm good. I'm going to go ahead and cut that. Okay, so before I press cut, I need to tell my crafty friends that I was able to use for this paper. I usually use a 4 for designer series paper. Let me get that in the, to the light. See, I was able for this particular project to use a 3 and it worked fine. So for this designer series paper, I'm using a three of a blade depth, blade depth of three. And it worked fine last time, so we're gonna go with that again. I'm gonna go ahead and say okay, and cut. Now, let me move this out of the way because, yeah, uh, as much as I love the scanning cut, it's very, very noisy. Okay, back to what's going on here. Now the 2D Fruity card, the card pack. 2D Fruity 6x6 Designer Series Paper. You get 12 patterns, double-sided patterns. So there's 48 sheets in a pack. 
and you get 12 patterns, double sided, four of each sheet. So, you know, imagine what you could do with all this. Now, I went to a retreat last weekend and I I took a little tutti fruity workshop and the paper came with my workshop and I was like, this is awesome paper. I don't know why I didn't know how awesome it was before from the catalog. I think sometimes you have to see things like close up and see how they're used to really know how awesome it is. Okay, so there, I'm just showing you the patterns on these papers. Okay. I didn't, I didn't cut the kiwis because the kiwis are already so close together. Although I, they probably would have cut out really well. Watermelon. So anyway, sometimes catalog pictures do not do something justice. Pineapples. and apples, I might give those a whirl for some teacher appreciation projects. I mean, look, we've got papayas. I mean, this is just totally awesome. Papayas. I'm going to definitely be using this sheet. I'm not sure if I'll cut out the bananas, but I have a, a thank you card I'm making for somebody who gave me some banana bread. So I'm going to use that banana sheet for that. And here I can use this sheet here for lots of my lemon zest projects, which I, which I do a lot of. Okay, so the paper is still cutting, and rather than turn it off, I just want to show you how some of these come out. So let's show you how this pineapple paper came out. I just had it. Okay, here we go. So, pineapple paper. There it is. I'll lay it there so you have something to look at. And then here are some pineapples that I cut out. I have plenty more. Now some of the pineapples came out really good and some the tops fell off because I didn't. But what you could do, if all your things are not cutting out, like if part of the tops fall off, like that one, you just have to look at why that may have been. Okay, so you take your paper and you say, the top, the top of that is falling off. So you could take your pencil and sort of outline around these really light colors if they're falling off. Or you can just use, like, I think I plan on using the base builder punch and make, like, my, my own pineapple toppers. You know, using, using that. So I don't mind that the top fell off. Some of these, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so I cut out a page of this. And I cut out a page of watermelon, okay? So this is the before, there's my watermelon. My other one's coming out. Okay, and then this is after. Okay, so I just want to show you that. Sorry for all the noise, but now we're, the noise has ended. These are my watermelon slices. They came out excellent. And, and not even all of them cut out of the page, but the ones that did came out excellent, which make great embellishments for my other projects. And then lastly, I want to show you I cut out some lemons. And they came out in big clumps, but they came out excellent. See what I mean by clumps? They came out in like huge pieces because they were already overlapping. And if you see this, that doesn't matter that that little piece got cut off. Because I just put, I can just sort of hang this off a page and then put your little sentiment on top of that. But I mean, I like how these sheets of lemon came out because I could do all kinds of stuff. Some of them came out like circular. Some of the grapefruit pieces came out circular and the lime, and then some just came out in giant clumps. And I was like, oh, bonus! I love that. And this sure beats fuzzy cutting. All right, so let's get back to the tutorial at hand, which is how to cut out strawberries with the brother scan and cut. So it's just done it. Wonderful job. And it didn't take that long. I'm bringing back the machine just to show you all the steps in case you're new to Brother Skin and Cut. So all we have to do at the end of a cut, when it says finish cutting, we just have to say okay. And then we, we could save this box, you know, scatter, but we don't want to. It's better to not, um, we don't want that. So let's just, let's just, I mean, I don't mean save it, but I mean, we could, we could cut again. It, if you if you lined up the paper exactly, like in the spot, you could cut again. But chances are it's not going to line up exactly, so it's better to just scan and cut each time you need to scan and cut. When you have such small patterns like this, then you'll get like a better exact, exact cut. Okay, so next steps are, we just unloaded the mat. I hope you saw that. I pressed this button. I don't know if I said it, but that's what I pressed. All right, let's move this out of the way. Okay, we take, we, we take our strawberries off the back. Use your spatula. Or you could just use your hand like I always do. But I mean, because my mat is sticky, I'm trying to use my spatula and be good. Because some of my viewers said, 
Maybe you are roughing, rough handling your mat. <laughs> Try your little spatula, it might last longer. But anyway, I'm trying to take advice and seeing how long my new mat will last when I'm trying to use the spatula. All right, so let's just peel that paper off. If I had used the blade depth of four, the paper would have came off a lot easier. But I just used the three, which was fine. Okay, so there, and then you take your spatula and you can remove your little objects from the mat. But usually what I do, honestly, is I just, you know, I just bend the mat and they come right off. So let me just show you how a couple of these came out and then we can stop this video and you can go try it on your own duty fruity paper, which I will have a link to below. I will have a link to my online Stampin' Up! store if you really want to get this paper, which I don't see why not because it's only available till the end of May. Okay, so here, let's put these on this. Okay, there we go. So these are the ones I just cut out. These are the blueberries and the strawberries. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that tutorial on how to cut out the Tutti Frutti paper using the Brother Scan and Cut. Until next time, this is the Paper Chef. Thank you for watching.